Congratulations, Microsoft. You've taken a product that I've used and supported for almost 40 years and taken it from irritating to just flat out piss me off. I want to start this video with a mistake I never want to make again. See, just recently I was compiling a YouTube video and more importantly, trying to pull about four terabytes of data off of a dead client hard drive. And that hard drive was so bad it took nearly a week for the software to get to the point where I could even see the files to begin recovery. So I figured I'd go to bed and let the computer do all the heavy lifting while I slept. The video would be done and ready to go and all the files would have been backed up off that hard drive ready to go for my client. But when I came back, everything was gone. Just a blank desktop. No video editing software, no file recovery software, nothing. And the reason for that is because Windows decided overnight that it was a good time to just restart my computer. Because why not? Now back in the good old days, we used to be able to select which updates we wanted to download and install, and then we got to choose when to restart our computer. It wasn't an automatic process. But now Microsoft has taken that option completely out of our hands. The only option we have is to pause updates, which if you forget to unpause, just automatically puts that back in place and your computer will restart whether you have important stuff running or not. Your computer restarts when it wants to, not when you want it to. But there is a way around it and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Now this Windows restart thing isn't a new thing that's uh, suddenly been released. It's been around forever. But most of the time when it does happen, I just blow it off, open my apps and just continue about my day. But this particular time, I forgot that my computer may restart and didn't have the updates turned off or the Windows update service disabled or anything like that. But that ends today. I'm going to show you how to create a simple registry script that when you implement it will tell your computer do not turn off for any reason. And as an added bonus at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to create another registry script that when you double click it puts everything back to normal and your computer will restart whenever it sees fit. But if you're like me and you sometimes have things important that need to run and you do not need your computer to restart, this thing could be critical for you. It certainly will be for me. Hello everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for nearly 35 years now. And what I do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting, and more. On this channel, we cover the what, the why, and then the how. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, definitely check out my video library because I got a ton of content that you might be interested in. Additionally, one of the things that I love doing is helping people find the right computer for their budget. There's a link in the video description. If you fill that out, I will laser focus and find you exactly the machine you're looking for to meet your budget. It's 100% free, and I'm happy to do it. Now let's create the script so we can turn off Windows restarting automatically forever. Now that little restart that Windows decided to do cost me nearly a week's worth of work and of course time and money. I had to completely restart from scratch and that's when I decided it will never happen again. Now this fix is extremely useful for people who need their computer to just stay on. Whether it's a video editor compiling a big project, if you're a stock trader that you need to constantly monitor ups and downs of the stock market, or, like in my case, you're a professional spending a ton of time recovering terabytes of potentially lost data off of a client computer. Regardless of what your needs are, if you do this, Windows will not automatically restart. And for me, that's critical. Now, there are other fixes on the internet to prevent Windows from restarting your PC. This is just one of them. But most of them fall into one of three categories. Either they require a group policy editor, which is not available in the Windows Home Edition, or they require PowerShell, which if you're not familiar with it, can be a little daunting and a little scary, or they're just buried in a ton of complicated steps that are just really not easy to follow. So this fix is just a simple copy and paste that I'm going to walk you through. It even works on Windows Home Edition, doesn't require a group policy editor, and doesn't even touch PowerShell. It's just a simple copy and paste, but I will recommend that you follow the steps exactly all the way through. And I will put the exact copy in the video description for you. So you can actually just copy it and then paste it into a notepad, but make sure you follow the steps all the way through. Otherwise this won't work. And again, we're also going to create an undo file, which if for whatever reason you want to put it back to the way it was, you can just open the script, double click it, restart your computer. And it's like nothing ever happened. Now, it's also important to know that this does not stop Windows from updating. Updates will still download and still install as they always have for you. What it does is it stops Windows from automatically rebooting after those Windows updates have been downloaded. Also important to know that this only works if your profile is logged into. 
Now, you can lock your computer, but until you actually sign out of your profile, it should be fine. But if you sign out or log out of your profile, then your computer will restart. So make sure that your computer is up and running and that your profile is logged in. Again, if you want to lock your computer, that's fine. It will still work. Just don't sign out. And it's also probably a good idea to randomly restart your computer anyway to let those Windows updates apply. But the difference is, is you're choosing to install those updates via a restart instead of Windows deciding to do it for you. But what you don't want to do is let a ton of Windows updates collect and then restart your computer and then all of a sudden you're sitting there for two hours while all the updates install and that also gives you the potential for one of those updates to not work and then you have to start the whole process over again but if you need your pc just to stay on this is absolutely the fix for you have you found yourself stuck with an unactivated or possibly illegal copy of Windows? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, KeysFam, you can be up and running and 100% legal again in about 10 minutes. An unactivated copy of Windows prevents you from personalizing your computer. You can use code AYCG52 for 52% off Microsoft Windows products, and you can use code AYCG62 for 62% off Microsoft Office products. The purchase process could not be simpler. Simply search for the version of Windows or Office that you're looking for, add it to your cart, make sure you apply your coupon code, and within 10 minutes you'll have an email sent to you with a new product code. Go to your email, select the product key, go to Windows Activation Settings, paste your product key, click Next, then Activate, and you're done. Now, I also want to tell you real quick why the typical normal settings fail. See, Windows has this thing called Active Hours, and it tries to accommodate when it thinks you're going to be on the computer and then chooses to do the updates and such after your active hours. But again, that doesn't help you if you have something you're actively needing to do outside of those active hours. Windows is just going to restart and it doesn't care if you've saved your term paper. It doesn't care if you are in the middle of something that's a, a week-long process. It doesn't care. It's just going to restart. Now, Windows also has a feature called Restart Apps, which basically means when it chooses to restart your computer to install those updates, and again, closing all of your stuff in the process, it will restart certain apps if you select those apps. But honestly, I don't really care about having my apps restarted automatically for me. What I want is the app that I'm using to stay on my screen. So here's what we're doing in plain language. We're going to create a basic text file, but then we're going to change it to where it actually becomes a clickable registry file, meaning when you double click it, it will enter that information into the Windows registry and give it new instructions. And in this case specifically, the new instruction is do not restart my computer under any circumstances. Basically, that's it in a nutshell. Okay, so what we need to do is create this registry file. What I want you to do is just follow the steps. It's very simple. But then if you need to pause and rewind to make sure you got it right, go ahead and do so. So what you want to do is from your Windows search bar, just type in Notepad and then click on Notepad at the top here. Now that's going to open a blank Notepad window for you. And again, you're going to just simply copy the following text into this Notepad. Now I would definitely recommend that you just copy this directly from the video description because if you miss one letter or one space, it's not going to work. But long story short, this is right now just a text file, but we can change that here in just a second. What we're doing is saying go into the registry under this key and then enter this data for that instruction. Think of it as just a yes or no or a stop sign or green lights, things like that. Okay. So now we have that copied in there. What we're going to do is we're going to click file and then go to save as. What I would recommend is probably put this on your desktop. You can put it anywhere you want on your computer. Just remember where you put it. You'll see right here, it wants to save it as a text file, but in order to make it a registry file, we have to change the type. What I would do first is delete that file name completely, and then for the save as type, you wanna change it to all files. You can put this wherever you want. I'm just putting it on my desktop, but just remember where you put it. What you wanna do is just give it a file name, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna say Windows Restart Stop, and then I'm gonna put a dot and then R-E-G. That's the reg extension for the Windows Registry Editor. And then once you've got that, go ahead and click Save. Now you can name this file whatever you want, as long as the dot reg is in the 
file extension, you're good to go. And the save as type is all files. So I'm going to click save and close this. Now, if you look here on my desktop, here is my windows restart stop dot reg file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this file and you're going to get a message here saying adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. If you don't trust the source, blah, 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 do not add it to the registry. Well, we know we trust this. It's going to say, are you sure? Go ahead and click yes. And then it's going to say the keys and values contained in that uh, reg file have been successfully added to the registry. Click OK. And once you've done that, all you have to do is restart your computer and that setting will take place and your computer is not going to restart ever again. So just like that, we've created the file that we need to make Windows stop restarting on us. No more surprise restarts, no more lost work. Windows will always ask you first if you'd like to restart. It's just not going to do it automatically. And again, this is ideal for people who have stuff that they need to stay running and like video editors or professionals or stock traders and things like that. So this may or may not be important for you, but if you are say a student who's been working on a thesis and maybe you get tired and you forget to save your work and you go to bed, you just lost everything. So this one little thing could actually save your tail for me. It's critical when I have software that takes days and days and days and days to accomplish something for it to just completely wipe all my progress and I have to start all over again. For me, this is amazing. I promised you earlier I was going to show you how to create an undo file that you could use to run and put everything back to normal and then it'll be like you never started it in the first place. Again, we're going to go back to our search bar and type notepad and click on notepad. The notepad window will open. And then what we have to do is take the following text and copy it in here. And again, you can type this manually if you want to, but I'd recommend that you just take it directly from the video description. And again, what we're doing is we're saying, go to this key and then change the no auto reboot uh, keyword to nothing. In other words, normal. When you do this, this will just be regular Windows day-to-day -day operations. Your computer will restart whenever it feels the, uh, the need to. So again, what you want to do is go to file, save as, erase the file name, change the type to all files, and I'm going to just call it Windows Restart Enable. So I have one that's called stop and one that's called enable. And again, at the end of this, dot reg. And then once you've got it looking exactly like that, click save, and then you can close notepad. So you can see here, I've got the enable and the stop. Now, in this case, I only want to click on this if I want to re-enable the Windows restart process. So right now, I have uh, the stop key entered and I want to leave it that way. But just know that you can double click it and restart your computer and everything's back to normal. So a couple quick questions that you might have. A, will this break Windows? No, it's just a registry key. It doesn't do anything. And if Windows doesn't know how to process that key, it just skips it. So it's not going to harm your computer. You don't need to necessarily back up your data or anything like that. There's nothing in this key that's going to break Windows. Secondly, will Windows updates still install? Yes, when you go to Windows updates, they will continue to download. They will continue to install. The only difference is, is they're not going to automatically restart your computer. Another question is, will it work on Windows Home Edition? Yes, as I stated before, one of the reasons I made this video specifically is because you don't have to mess with Group Policy Editor, which isn't available in Windows Home. It doesn't require you editing a PowerShell script. It's just a very basic registry script, and it just works. Another question is, can Windows undo this? Technically, yeah, possibly, maybe after a large Windows feature update. So if you end up downloading a major feature update, might not be a bad idea to run that script again. Just simply double click it and then restart your computer. It's not going to hurt anything, but if for some reason Windows uh, reverts that process, you'll at least know that you've done that and you're good to go. And lastly, it's, well, you're a YouTuber. Can I trust you? Yeah. It's a pretty simple thing. I'm not asking you to go digging and diving in the registry. I have the key already ready for you. All you got to do is double click it. I wouldn't normally recommend you go down into certain keys and make changes and things like that. But this one is a pre-made script. And if you aren't sure, I'll put a link to the 11 forum webpage. You will see that this is the exact registry script that tons of PC professionals have used to prevent Windows from restarting. So don't just take my word for it. Feel free to do the homework yourself.
So if you think that this video will help you not lose data or work, make sure you click like or share down below. Somebody else you know might benefit from it. And if you like the way I presented this content to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, feel free to check out my video library. I got a ton of videos in there for you. And lastly, make sure you check the video description and copy exactly what I show you in the description. Follow the steps one at a time, create those two files, and you're good to go. So if you like this style of content, I did create a playlist called Five Minute Fridays. It's a series I'm working on, which is just quick, simple fixes in five minutes or less. So if you like that, check it out. Otherwise, check out my video library. And regardless of what you do, I want to wish you and your family the happiest 2026 ever. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.